Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's video is a chatty, no makeup makeup look, perfect for at the beach or by the pool or even at some rooftop parties. I really hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for two videos a week. So obviously you start things off with a completely bare face because usually you've just woken up. And I go in first of all with the Aveda Daily Light Guard Defense Fluid SPF 30. And I really like this because it's really good for traveling as well because it's so small and it's just a really nice one without any sort of coloring or any sort of foundation to make it into a like tinted moisturizer. So this is just one for a completely bare face. I do only use a tiny little amount of this because it is quite oily. So yeah, you don't need too much and you may need to like shake it before use because it can kind of separate. So just a tiny little amount and massage that into my skin paying close attention to my nose because that always burns because it sticks out so far. <laughs> now then I go in with like a moisturizing base and this one is from Creme de la Mer and I don't know what they've put in this but this is like magic in a tub. It's just a like cream, it's just sort of a pinky cream but on your skin, it almost makes you look like you're wearing foundation. There's been so many instances where you guys have been like, you're wearing foundation and I'm not. I'm just wearing this and it's literally just a cream. So I pretty much wear this every single day now, whether I'm by the pool, whether I'm working, whether I'm down in London, this is what goes on before my makeup. And it's amazing. I usually just take a really small amount um, from the lid because that's all you need. You don't need a lot. And I know that creme de la mer products are really expensive, but I just, I use them so much, they last so long. So I actually find that they are worth the money because they last so long. So that's now rubbed in. That's the SPF and the moisturizer from Creme de la Mer. And now I'm gonna go in with my Holy Grail product. I featured this in a favorites video and you would have also seen it in my collaboration with By Terry. This is the Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum in shade Sunny Flash. And this is my second bottle. I went and bought this the other day in Phoenix because they've got a stand in there and I just wear this every single day. It goes under my makeup so nicely. It goes by itself so nicely. I wear this to the gym every single day. This is how I get away with going makeup free to the gym because this is just so beautiful on your skin. I usually go in with two pumps of it and I like to really like get it all over my face and get it rubbed in evenly. And as you can see, I am instantly more tanned. Like it's just incredible stuff. Because my face never tans as well, oh, this is just so good. And I'm not wearing foundation. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation, but my skin just looks a lot brighter. It also gives a really nice amount of radiance and my skin just looks glowing. Now this product has been in my beauty drawer for years. And it's funny how you go like in stages of using things. And I just saw it sat there the other day and I was like, oh, I should really use that more because it's so good. It's the Chanel Solo Tan de Chanel. And I think loads of people have this and it's just a really good product. It's one of those kind of cult products. And this is how I tend to get that sort of bronzed look without putting foundation all over my face. I'm using the Chanel brush at the moment, but it looks like this is just the same as the MAC one. Um, but I just basically swirl it around on the inside and then I just kind of apply it around like my hairline, around here, and it's just really sort of messy and quick and easy. I make sure that I push it into the hairline so that it doesn't look too um, stripey. But as you can see on my forehead, that already looks a lot more sort of tanned around there where the sun would naturally hit it. I just load up again and I take it onto my cheeks, sort of the cheekbone area and down. I do kind of just blend it in. Now I do need to take this down onto my neck because my neck never tans as well and it just makes sure that it blends perfectly as well. So that is my base done and if I was just sort of spending the entire day by the pool I could just leave it like this. Um, I feel very, very comfortable. As long as like my skin's got the right color to it, I feel really comfortable. So I could just leave it like this, but if I plan on taking pictures or something like that, I do tend to add a little bit more to the eyes and the brows and the lips and possibly the cheeks, just so that it translates really nicely on camera as well. This is also a great makeup look if you go to like pool parties or rooftop parties or things like that when you're on holiday, because you feel like you've made a little bit of an effort, but you don't have to worry too much about your skin. So for my brows, when I don't want to be too precise and I just want to fill in the little gaps, I use the Brow Sculptor from Tom Ford and this is shade Espresso. I've got a handy little brush on the end and I just kind of brush up my brows and just add in any bits that maybe need a little bit more color. 
And as you can see, they've not gone too dark or anything like that. You've just kind of filled in the bits that need it. And to secure them in place, I use the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom just to sort of give me confidence that they're not going to be going anywhere. To add a bit of brightness under my eyes, I'm using the Guerlain Precision Light rejuvenating illuminator and this is probably my most favorite illuminator that I've ever had. It's really really light but really really brightening as well and I literally just blend that in like this. Again you're just being really quick with it. You're not contouring or like highlighting or anything you're just like blending and if you do feel like you put a little bit too much on one eye you can just go back in with your Chanel brush and buff in some more of the bronzer. So for my eyes, I use the Guerlain Colmy Cajal eyeliner, and this is kind of like a wand, it's really strange, but I find this just really quick and easy to use because it's not too precise and it's not too pigmented, but it's pigmented enough, so you don't have to worry about overdoing it with this. And I actually use this on the upper lid instead to give that some darkness. Because I usually wear flicks, I do like to add some sort of drama to my eyes, but not too much, so this is a really easy way. You don't have to worry about smudging when you sweat or anything like that, so I really do like this. And then on my lower lash line, I'm using the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner, and it's the nude shade. And I only put this on really gently, just to sort of open up my eyes a little bit. And then I'm using the Giorgio Armani Mascara in shade Eccentrico. Now I don't actually take this all the way to the ends of the lashes, I'm literally just going in to add a little bit more darkness at the root, but I don't want to give my eyelashes that like full look. So you literally just kind of press and wiggle. As you can see it's just a little bit more dark at the root but it doesn't look like I've put mascara all the way to the end of my roots and still looks really natural. Now I want to make this look quite glowy and sun-kissed so I will be using a highlighter. I would usually use the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills but I've got a new one. This is the Illuminator in Peach Nectar so let's see how this one comes out. I just take a brush like this and swirl it in. So this is like a much more natural highlighter, which is actually really good because possibly the glow kit would have been a bit too harsh for this more natural look. So I actually really like this and I think this is a really good colour for my skin tone. Then I just go in with my finger and drag it down my nose. And it just sort of adds that beam of light down the center of my nose because I don't plan on contouring at all. Dust a little bit on my chin and in the center of my forehead as well to just brighten that up. So as you can see instantly my skin kind of like pops and throws up color a lot more so I really really like that highlight actually. I'm going to use that a lot when I go away. <laughs> So that's everything done, now for the final part is the lips. And you don't have to do this, you can just leave it at that, but I always like to have a little something on my lips. At the moment my favourite lip liner from MAC is Stripped Down, and I just think that this is a really nice, much more beigey nude rather than any pinks or reds. So I find that this goes with the sort of golden glowy hues a lot better. that is stripped down on my lips and it's quite matte so I want to add a little bit of a sheen using the L'Oreal Paris Sexy Balm and this is shade As If. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As usual you'll find all of the product links in the description box as well as all my social media links. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!